part is the phasor representation it is very important part to understand it so uh, see in phasor what we have is this what we are assuming here is i will have some phasor like this okay so this phasor right now is at zero degree so what i will do is i will map this phasor with the ac signal okay so here it is lying on the horizontal surface that's why it looks like point here now when it rotates say for example it rotates by 45 degree so i will consider this angle okay so so let's say while it rotates by one complete revolution it would travel let's say here it would be 90 degree here it would be complete angle would be 180 and if i go with the all the planes so it would be 360 say for example uh, 2 pi over 360 degree is somewhere here and 0 is somewhere here now i am interested in what will be the uh, values let's say this is the point where it is having 30 degree okay so somewhere uh, 30 somewhere here okay so this would be the amplitude so at 30 i am having this amplitude uh, it let's say uh, uh, let's say here i am having angle of 70 degree so at 70 degree somewhere let's say here let's say i'm having almost 70 degree so the magnitude will be uh, like this this will be the magnitude and at uh, 90 degree let's say here i'm having 90 degree so at 90 it is having this peak okay if i join all those points it will give me this first part of this AC sinusoidal and once it go in this direction again value will go down but see here it is important to notice that ang this amplitude is going down but angle this angle is increasing so again I will have points here somewhere so it will go like this similarly it will reach when this phasor reach to here so this will reach to here so let's say this is my a point so a point is corresponding to this this is b point so b will be here c point c will be here d so d will be here and then this is let's say e point so e will be here let's say this is f point so f will be here similarly when it start rotating into a reverse like in the third plane okay uh, somewhere here when it rotates again uh, by 90 degree so somewhere here so it will have that peak so here here we will have some peak and in between let's say somewhere here we'll have this value so again we will have this variation from this to this okay so it means that this phasor between this plane like uh, here I will have all those points so say for example F then G is somewhere here so G uh, will be somewhere here okay and let's say H is here and H is here H then I is somewhere let's say here so I will be here and J is let's say here again so we will have J again here so in this way when phasor my phasor will rotate into this direction so it has some degree so degree will increase in this direction and amplitude will change based on its projection here and this direction okay and when it reached to 90 degree here also it reached to 90 degree and it is having peak again it will go in sinusoidal way it will reach to negative peak and again it will get the uh, 360 degree okay so in this way my phasor will change okay now if i'm uh, wanted to uh, check let's say uh, this is let's say i equal to let's say the peak value of this is i m so i equal to i m sine omega t when this theta is zero so i'm having the zero value and when theta is 90 here so sine 90 will gives me i m so this is my value here i will have im value okay 
uh, similarly when my omega t theta will becomes 270 degree which is the point at here so at that time sine 270 will gives me minus i m okay so in this way my uh, signals will be there now if uh, what will be the phase advancing and what will be the phase delay so uh, let's say if i am looking for i equal to i am sine omega t plus 30 okay so uh, in this case okay uh, my signal will start at which point that i really don't know okay so this is my omega t and uh, this is my signal okay let's say this is v now uh, if i draw it you know in from the phasor perspective so this is omega t so omega t is zero somewhere here plus 30 so at t equal to zero it would have phase of 30 so it would be at this point at 30 degree so this is the point where it will start so if i just look at this so this is the point where it will start and then it will reach to 90 so very soon let's say this is my 30 so within 60 degree of rotation okay so uh, let's say technically it is 90 here uh, 180 here uh, then again 270 here and 360 here so uh, it has started with 330 degree so after just uh, uh, you know having 60 degree more it will have that peak so it will have peak somewhere here so it would be like this okay so it will reach a peak in a 60 degree duration and uh, if i just go back so it will have zero somewhere at uh, in the negative time so my phasor would look like this okay yeah so this is the waveform and omega t plus 30 okay uh, let's say if I want to draw for the I m sine omega t minus 30 at that time so uh, if I draw the phasor for the same so if I, I have to start with minus 30 right and this minus 30 will have projections here so then I will go in this way okay so after traveling just 30 degree so I will have this zero okay so and then uh, my phasor will move into positive direction then i have to start with my positive uh, then again 90 degree so technically uh, when it will reach to this peak value so this peak value 90 degree will reach it after traveling through 90 plus 30 so this is the 30 degree and here exactly it will reach to 120 degree okay and 90 will be somewhere here all right so in this way uh, this is something known as a phase delay and this is something known as a phase advancing okay uh, in this way you can load the rest of the signal so this phaser will uh, be helpful in order to avoid uh, any confusion and in order to better deal with the ac signal thank you